In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Today is the first Saturday of the month. We want to honor in a special way the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Lady Fatima mentioned the different sins that offend her heart most. So I invite you to offer prayers of reparation for the sins that offend the heart of our Blessed Mother. They have the following. Several are those that attack Mary's privileges, which we would call them the Marian dogmas. The first would be the attack against the Immaculate Conception. We believe firmly that Mary was conceived without the stain of original sin. The second would be the attacks against Mary's divine maternity. The greatest privilege that God gave to Mary was that of being the mother of God. Mary is truly the mother of God. And every time we pray the Hail Mary, we say, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now, the third would be the attack against Mary's perpetual virginity. This is another dogma and privilege of Mary. That Mary was a perpetual virgin. She was a virgin before the birth of Christ, during the birth of Christ, and after the birth of of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Then the fourth thing that offends Mary's heart so profoundly is when her images are desecrated. We hear in the news when a statue or a painting of the Blessed Mother has been desecrated, sometimes by Satanists because the devil has a mortal hatred of Mary, knowing that those who consecrate themselves to Mary, these people that find refuge in the Immaculate Heart of Mary, will arrive at eternal salvation. And the last offense against the Heart of Mary is the damaging and the scandalizing of children. Jesus said, let the little children come to me. But today, the minds of children are being poisoned by false doctrines and by erroneous and scandalous programs that are being introduced into the modern school system. It's interesting that Mary appeared to children. She appeared to the three children at Fatima. She appeared also to Santa Ber Saint Bernadette, a mere child. So today in which we honor the Immaculate Heart of Mary, here's a beautiful image that I offer for your contemplation and for your prayer. Offer your rosary, maybe your confession, your communion in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. My friends, we can find two refuges. We can find refuge in the, in the Immaculate Heart of Mary and in the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.